Oh, that's enough. Uh, Mira, vanish! Cancel! No. What the hell are you doing? What? I wasn't touching nothing. What's going on? Don't worry, no harm done. Right, Bigby? We'll talk about this later. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? It's okay. Are you okay? Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. I wasn't doing anything bad, I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> It's okay, son. <laughs> Careful, Big B. I wasn't. I know. The lady fell in, but but she didn't have her head on. I thought I thought she was gonna pull me down too. <laughs> Cause, cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark part. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Please tell the truth. Is there something else? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it! I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you! You're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Did you hear anyone laughing? No. <laughs> Did you see who it was? Okay, TJ. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise. I want to go home. <laughs> okay, you can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. <laughs> Let's get you home. Call us if you remember anything else. Come on, then. That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? In a minute. Probably go talk to the magic mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. What was Toad talking to you about? Hey, mirror. Hello, Big B. Nice to see you. Well, 
What were you showing Mr. Toad and his son? Cinderella selling shoes, Rapunzel, Rose, and of course there's you. And I can't help note that you did not rhyme. Do try to stick to the rules next time. Yeah, I'll do that. That was it. Let's look at the woodsman. The woodsman and I were fighting. Now I want to know where he's hiding. Well, that's helpful. Where can I find Tweedledum? Uh, that piece of scum. Nice. Alright, so I think I got what we needed from the, the magic mirror. Now I gotta find Snow. Alright, let's go talk to her. Snow and Buffkin. So, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? Yep. Yeah. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Come on. Witching well chamber. What the heck? Alright, I guess we gotta go find the body. It's right over here. Oh, jeez, that's gross. to stay. I'll be fine. It's just a little strange. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. Alright, let's look at her head. Check her mouth. There might be a ribbon in there, like before. Anything? Nothing. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. Looks just like Faith's dead. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. I think... isn't that it? She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. Also, I saw the bottle on your desk. There's something else over here? Okay. That's why I didn't know. Let's look at her knees. Marks. She used Mundy drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms. Or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway. It means it's not a perfect match to your leg, unless... Don't be ridiculous. Maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It might just be failing. 
Glamours don't just fail. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Mm, let's look at these rope marks. Rope marks. She was tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles. So she would sink. Oh. Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. No, oh, it's pried open. What are you doing? Only way to find out. Uh, oh, mash a. Oh, there's something. What is it? It's like flowers or something. Flowers. Yeah. Well, I lack petals, huh? You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder. What? Snow. I need to open her code. Bigby, just let me. You still okay? I... Well, I certainly hope you're behaving yourself up here. What have you found out? I haven't finished yet. Well, get on with it then. We can't waste too much time here. The killer might be preparing another attack as we speak. We should keep going. Wearing silk lingerie snow? Why do you want to know? I'm just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. <laughs> well. What is that? She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. Though witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. Hmm, we gotta like match them up or something. Make them uh, into a horse, I think. Horse? I don't know what it's gonna be actually. A reindeer. A deer. A deer. What does that mean? Oh. What in the heck? Hair. Is that... It's your hair. And I bet that's a picture of snow. 
Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Who did this, Bigby? What the? She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. All right, you can calm down. It's not like you haven't seen a troll before. Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. You don't mean that, do you? Maybe Holly knows. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly, it's... Her sister, Lily. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows, she might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. Bigby is not in charge of me. He's in charge of this investigation. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not gonna stop her. But... We should leave now. You ready? Yeah. Well, hopefully that doesn't get her killed. 